Hello everyone. Uh, hope you are doing fine today. How is everything going? Hello Eva. Hello Elida. Uh, guys, I'm gonna wait about two or three minutes so everyone uh, will be joining the the video live today. Um, before everyone join in these two or three minutes, let me um, ask you where are you joining from? I see Joris has entered the chat. Uh, and someone else, uh, let me know guys, where are you joining from? What are your expectations from the session today? Um, what are you looking forward to receive of information from this session? And what are you looking for else? Um, I'm fine, Joris. Um, the broadcasting is from Egypt and this where I'm from. Uh, I hope there are many countries today, so let's see. Uh, Dacha, you are joining from the Dacha. That's really nice. I have been there one time and it was one of the, the best moments in my life. Uh, I, I like the, the weather there and the country and everything. I wish to go there again. And Netherlands, one of my best countries ever. And uh, it is one of the, um, the best countries for sports management career. Uh, and they have also most of the organization and the federation are very strong over there. Uh, what about the rest of the guys? Where are you uh, joining from? And what are your expectations of the session today? What are you looking forward to here today? Uh, how is the quarantine going and how is this situation going these kind of days? Let me know. Uh, Portugal, I see someone writing in Russian, but I don't recognize what, what is this city, but I think somewhere in Russia. Um, that's really nice. So we have a, a good diversity today, many countries. Uh, I can see Portugal and Netherlands is one of the most strongest countries in the world that they are um, joining the sports career management. Port Said uh, from Egypt, hello Michu. Uh, by the way, Michu was one of the organizers in the World League Cup Russia 2018 and he was working with me over there. Um, he was doing a great job and the FIFA was uh, like awarding him. He's really hard worker guy. Looking for some insights about the program. That's interesting. Uh, I'm gonna analyze everything about the studies, the programs. Uh, what can you expect from the program? How can you search for a job in a sports management? And what is uh, your expectation from this program? Uh, I see Natalia also had joined. Welcome Natalia, so we have uh, quite few people right now. Let's wait another one minute and then we can start the, the video live today and we can see what's the insights of the webinar today. Hello Natalia, how's everything going? Uh, how's the quarantine? I know you are in Madrid, I think. So hopefully everything is fine right now. Let's open. Um, what is your expectation from the session today and what are you looking for? I see Nancy had joined also Nancy was one of the girls that she is really a hard worker and she was working with us in the FIFA World Cup 2018 in Russia. Uh, waiting for insights. Okay, we are gonna see the insights today. Um, guys, the, the weather here in Egypt is really so hot so I'm sweating but <laughs> it's fine. Um, Okay, who else? I can see like uh, quite a few more people are still joining, looking for the insights. Uh, almost 30 seconds and we can start. Uh, what else? Looking forward to the Instagram session. Okay, I think Nancy, uh, you are uh, quite a bit knowing about the, um, the sports management career because you have been working in, in Valencia Club in the basketball and World League Cup. So I think it's quite be interesting for you as well. Uh, okay, let's start the session. I think we have passed around two or three minutes and then the rest of the people when they can join, they can continue. Crystal, Crystal is one of the current students right now and she is really uh, into the sports management and she is keen into to working in the sports management career and she's looking forward uh, her, all her life for this. Okay, guys, I'm gonna start the session today uh, about um, give a little bit of brief about myself and introducing my background and everything. So, as you know, my name is Mustafa. I am from Egypt. I studied telecommunication and electronics engineer. I know it sounds weird. It's totally different than marketing and sports management. 
but this was uh, what I studied before and uh, I worked in Orange Company, like the France Telecom Company for four years. During these four years, I used to travel a lot. And when I used to travel, I figured out where is my passion from. My passion was when I go to a football match or a ice hockey match or a basketball match and they see how's the game controlling and how's the game process operations and everything going. I was not just a fan going to the stadium and looking forward to see who is going to score today, what's going on in the game. I used to analyze everything happening inside the field and how can they really do this and how can they manage to do this kind of operation. So from this point, uh, it drive me through, like I really have a passion to the sports management and I, I wish to continue my life working in sports. Um, so I decided that no, I, I really need to shift my career to sports management. I need to study something. I need to go deeply inside the sports management career. So I decided to backpack and go to Spain. Uh, I joined GBSB Global Business School and then I decided to study, to shift to my career and to start to looking forward around me, how is everything going and how can I go in, inside or deeply inside the sports management career. Uh, I finished my studies um, at the school and then I also made a top-up diploma in football marketing and management which make me also understand the insights of the sports game in general um, and also I would like to tell you some stories about my events before we start and also the session today is going to divide it in seven topics it's like basically questions but in a, in a story in a topics so make sure that um, you follow every topic or question and you can just write your questions if you need anything uh, welcome Muhammad I know that you are joining just now so welcome to the session okay about the events um, one of my best moment exactly when I joined the World Cup Russia 2018 uh, I applied in 2015 through the website of the FIFA and I didn't expect that they will even call me one day but suddenly after six months they sent me an email and they said your application has been approved and we are looking forward to have an interview with you after four or five interview, I got accepted and I became an organizer at the World Cup Russia 2018 and this were the, the starting point or for me or let's say the, the shifting point for everything. Because the vibes and the atmosphere that I saw over there was really incredible. When I was inside the pitch or the field saying the operation has been managed by everyone and how this game can be proceed, there is a huge process over there there is too many people working in each sector so I was so curious to know how can they these guys imagine or manage this kind of operation and then I decided no I really want to continue with this I want to be with the events sector because sports management have many sectors but I said I want to be with the events sector because I really like to do this uh, I will go to this uh, after and also um, I, I managed to be one of the organizers in the Champions League final 2019 in Madrid which is the second biggest tournament in the world the Champions League uh, also I have been managed to be in uh, Bologna in Italy uh, which is the championship under 21 and recently I have just joined the UEFA Europa Cup it is gonna, it's gonna be in Poland and Euro 2020 I'm going to be from the uh, ticketing uh, department so I will be joining from Rome uh, this is about the events the third topic we need to talk about is uh, why do you need to study the sports management and to work in the sports industry uh, I see someone have a question um, okay uh, I'm going I'm going to answer the all the question at the end so maybe I will go back to the question um, one of the topics that we need to, to manage it today or to say it is why do you need to study sports management? What can you see behind this? And why do you need to work in the sports industry? Um, we always have a, a fourth sentence is really common about this. We always say the sports industry is thriving. The diversity of the name is the game. And worldwide opportunity equal travel, entrepreneur is valid. What does it this mean? Uh, first of all, the sports industry is thrilling that, as you can see, the sports industry or the sports career is the only industry in the world that is driven by passion. What does this mean? It means that everyone who is working in this uh, industry, 
he is like uh, going there by his own mind no one forced him to work in this industry it is not common in all the other industries because if you look at for example engineering or any other industry you might be working there because you are taking a good salary or a good amount of money you having a good job or whatever but the sports industry most of the people they shifted their career to join the sports industry because they really like it or they already decided from the beginning that they want to work with the sports career so it's the only industry in the world that you will work there and you will find most of the people who are working with you, with you that they already have the same passion as you have. So this is one of the, the most important uh, thing that you need to know about it. Uh, worldwide opportunities equal travel. Uh, so as you can see, the, the events of the sports has been held in many, many countries. For example, if we look at the next year, 2020 is going to be in 12 city or 12 country so can you imagine if you are working with the euro that you have to travel in these countries and if you even a fan you're going to watch the match in these countries follow your team for example the the europa uefa cup is, is going to be in uh, poland champions league in istanbul and turkey so every event it's it's really in a different country so it, it's really mean that people who love to travel they will join this and they will enjoy the traveling uh, process uh, entrepreneurship is valid um, one of the the best thing that happened to me that uh, I found a, a company it's called MQF MQF it's um, stands for Masque football it's in Spanish like more than football it is inspired by the slogan of Barcelona uh, Masque un club like more than a club uh, this also was a, a, a good story I forgot to mention it at the beginning but the, there, there is a good skill you need to learn it from this when I finished the study and then joined also started to do some sports for the students, sports events for the students at the school uh, and helping them to achieve what they need to do in the sports career. Um, I, I found one of my friends that he was around me, but I didn't see him before. And then he has the same passion and we talked together and we say, why not? We didn't do this small startup as a company. We try to manage the players' contract, finding for them the clubs, etc. As we have the, already the context, we are passionate about what we are doing, and we started like this. And then one month later, I found another guy. Um, he was studying also with us, but I didn't see him before. I mean, around like this kind of industry. And then we talked, and we found that he has also the same passion. So we decided that he is going to work with us and the company. So one of the best skills that you need to learn from this also look around you first there is always people have the same passion and they want to do something but they cannot do it alone so if you talk to the people around you you will see many people they want to do the same what you want to do so you need to encourage each other uh, as we said uh, let's go back to the sports industry as we said that uh, this industry is driven by the passion it can also position the students in many factors like agents team marketing uh, media sports marketing broadcasters uh, athlete department uh, a lot of factors that you can uh, join uh, and go through this uh, sports management career but you need to define exactly which department that you need to join uh, let's go to topic number four which is the uh, benefit of studying sports man management does it really sounds good that you need to study sports because for many people when I say that I studied something in sport or even with the top management people that they are uh, managing a good position in the club and the f clubs and the federations right now, when they say that I studied sports management, people started to say I study sports. It didn't sound like weird. No, it's not weird. It is really very useful and it's something impressive to study what you love and what you have passion for. Benefits of studying uh, the sports management nowadays it's uh, the most important factor is to differentiate yourself. What makes you different between someone who is working in a club in the same position that you already find the job over there or you are working there? It is that the differentiation. If you study and you have a background of sports management, you will see yourself is getting more uh, insights about the game and everything and you are promoting faster than him. You're understanding everything going in the job faster than him because you have the background. So again to the topic it's really useful to study a sports management because it's um, like make you different than anyone around you because 
at the end everyone wants to study sports management right now but not everyone already studied study. most of the people they trying to find the jobs in the sports career management but they didn't study they won't just go to jump inside the career without studying anything so if you studied and you have a good masters or a good diploma it's really really make you better uh, one of the most factors that it's really uh, make you um, or one of the best things of the benefits or, or one of the benefits of the things that make you uh, better than people who not study is the contacts and the connections that you are going to do through the studying from your professors and people who are already working with you in this uh, whole period that you are studying why with the professors because the professors they are already teaching in many universities around you and you already have a lot of students the graduate alumni right now and they are already uh, having contacts connections in football association federation organizations clubs and many many things so one of the most things you need to uh, follow up with your professors you need to keep in touch with them to tell them what is your passion in which area which sector like for example i want to work in the event sector i want to work as a football management they will really uh, manage to associate you with the uh, peers and the best people in this industry or in this sector that you are uh, really wants to work in so don't forget these points try to keep in touch as much as you can with your professors and talk to them ask them to introduce you to their network join them in linkedin search who is the connections between you like hello professor i see that you know this guy he's working for fc barcelona club can you please introduce me to him because i have an idea of an event or an idea i want just to propose it to someone from fc barcelona it's just an example from the federation from fifa from uefa from whatever so don't forget uh, about this of the benefits of the study also one of the benefits of studying sports management is enhance your skills knowledge understanding the game how it's work there is a, a huge process until the time this they say zero time is the whistle of the referee of the game do you think for example the champions league final which is one match or one game the people see it at the end okay it's a match between this team and this team it's just a 90 minutes game no it's not a, a 90 minutes game nowadays the, the games or the sports game it's not just a game it's an entertainment game like it's a journey the, the the family go to the stadium to watch a game and to enjoy the day it's like a picnic people are not going to the stadium before the game by just uh, five minutes or ten minutes they go like five hours before four hours before it depends on the on the game so there is an activations over there in the stadium there is many activities you can do there is many competitions there is video games there is uh, souvenirs there is a lot of stuff connections one of the best connections that I have made in my life, I was going to watch a match and uh, I really met a, a very important guy over there. I took his number, linked in and then we still keep in touch and there was a lot of business after that with him. Uh, so one of the benefits again of studying sports management is to understand how is the game working. It's a huge process and operation until the game start. There is media relations center over there. There is the ticketing operations. There is a spectator service, there is the field, the marketing, social media, um, VIP and hospitality, broadcasting, everything. You need to understand each sector, what they are responsible for, what they are doing in order to reach the game and millions of people around the world, they can see the game like this. It's not just a game and you're going to watch. So if you think that this old process, it doesn't matter that you study, no, you are wrong. You really need to study to understand each sector house is working and you need to listen from the professors and the people who are expert in this kind of stuff also don't forget it enhance your skills because for example people who are expert in social media and marketing it's totally different for sports marketing because i studied marketing as well and when i, I went to the world cup and i was dealing with the marketing team and the social media i saw it's really different it's not the same the posts that you are going to post in social media, Instagram, Facebook is not just a post of a picture of a player or a fan when you just post it. No, it's not like this. You need to uh, attract, to catch the people who are watching this. You need to do many competition. You need to do some souvenirs or attract the people to join your social media. This is how the social media and sports works. And you need to do a lot of stuff 
you will not understand it if you didn't study this uh, one of the best thing also uh, the benefits of studying is uh, understanding the psychology of the players at the end of the day the the sports athlete or the player he is a human so he has many many pressure during the day uh, he is having a problem with his families with his family um, problems with his children uh, with people around him with the club with the president with 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 so if we look to each club now from the top clubs not only the top clubs but let's say the the first division or the premium division every team they have a guy called a psychologist he is working over there with the mentality of the player why was the mentality of the player because as i said everyone has a problems and if this player he is not focusing 100% inside the pitch of and the game he is not going to achieve any of his goals so the psychology it makes you understand how can you talk with these guys how can you um, make them forget any problems they have and reach only their goals over there what is make Cristiano Ronaldo right now in the top of the athlete not only inside the pitch by the way outside the pitch as well what is make Messi still playing now till 12 years Messi and Cristiano has been competing for almost 12 years and no one can go beside them it's, there is even like very far between them what's make uh, Salah for example and Mane and these guys from Liverpool are going there are re a good representative for their company it's really the psychology the mentality it's not only I have a talent and they can be a professional athlete no it's any game in the world whatever the sports you need to really achieve your goal you need to follow up with it every day you need to work in this so this is also one of the benefits of studying sports management because there is many people nowadays they understand this and they want to work in the sector of the psychology of the player because they love to solve the problems of the players they love to talk with them about their personal issues make them feel on, like follow their goal only and like uh, just go for it and don't think about something else there is one of a uh, good story that uh, have been telling through one of the professors of, of one of my friends he was studying uh, sports management in Spain as well um, the, the, the team of the hockey uh, in the World Cup uh, the Spanish team because there were um, most of the players in this team were Catalan and you know there is um, like some problems between the Catalan and the Spanish team so th this kind of people they were really uh, like too hard to manage to playing in the Spanish team and most of them are Catalan and there is young players and there is older players so the psychology over there uh, she was saying that she really had a lot of problems to manage and to ask the players to trust each other and to behave each other because many players they think oh, okay I'm a professional one I'm so high no this is a younger player he's Catalan I'm Spanish and and she has been working with this four months before the World Cup start and then at the end they achieved the silver medal in the World Cup it's it's not a chance you know to, to achieve a medal like this is not a chance and many people think oh the spanish team has achieved this because they have a really good player no it's not that they have a really good players only because they have a really good people working in the whole club start from social media marketing psychologists doctors uh, event management directors team leaders uh, leadership people over there so everything is drive you through to achieve the goal what you want uh, let's go to the topic after uh, which is um, sports management career and job that you can jo join or you can get after the, the degree now we have been talking about why it's really useful to uh, take a, a degree in the sports management then we are going to define how can you search for the job or what kind of job that you can as I said before, first you need to define which sector in the sports management that you need to, do, to, to join. What's make you have a passion? And as I was saying for people who has uh, recently joined, um, my passion was through the, the events because when I went to the World Cup, uh, especially in the opening and the final game, the vibes and the atmosphere that I saw over there makes me feel like, no, I wanted to continue my whole life inside the pitch. I want to see everything happening. How is this? 
process and operation manage until the final so you need to define there is many factors or many um, sectors that might interest you to join like uh, athletic coach for example directors business development is one of the booming uh, sectors in the sports management career right now because people want to to manage um, to enhance or to develop the business uh, model inside the club or the federation and there is many vacancies around the world right now about this event coordinator also it's one of the most booming um, sectors but it's very rare vacancies when they open it and the competition over there is really high because everyone wants to work with the events wants to see the players wants to be inside the pitch want to see like this but it's not impossible it's still you have to to join this you have to understand how can you go like for this one the facilities manager it's one of the also good sectors over there people need to understand uh, how is the facility or the stadium is working i remember in the in the training of the world cup and now we have been receiving this also in the training of euro 2020 um like we, we need to understand how many gates behind the stadium what is, where is the emergency gate what is, where is the fastest way to go to this seat for example because when the match start many people arrive to the match um, and they were asking okay this is my ticket number how can I reach my seat I need to go there directly and people are running so if you don't understand the facility exactly that you are working it's going to be a hard job for you so many people need to do this and also the maintenance of the stadium how can you manage this many stadiums right, right been now um, doing this and they need to understand how to maintain it like clear and everything for example there is a, a stadium in Russia called Volvograd Volvograd has been used in the World Cup for one match and then after the World Cup no one has played everything over there anything over there because it's really far from the Moscow from everything so we could say that this is something we need to study why is this happening it's not happening only in the World Cup but it's happening many where so this is the facility man uh, management or to be a facility manager of one is one of the sectors that you need to understand how it's working financial analysis fitness manager this is one of the booming also sectors right now people need to understand how the athlete make their fitness what is the nutrition program they follow how can you make a like a, a medium professional player to be a top professional player through uh, enhance the endurance and the fitness for this kind of players the marketing and the operation management the media the ticketing the spectator service uh, VIP and hospitalities everything all of this is like sectors in sports management you need to understand where is your passion exactly because if you don't know which sector in this that you love to work you cannot join or you cannot find any vacancy like this most of the vacancies when the federation or the clubs put it on LinkedIn they ask for like uh, requirements and in these requirements you must be you must be have a passion for this sector exactly and you need to search by the keywords in, in everything. Um, public relation is also one of the most booming right now. Sales coordinators, sports agents and sports lawyers is one of the um, best thing that people want to work right now. Uh, as we are doing in the company that I said, it's a sports agent, it's really a hard job. Uh, a sports agent is one of the hardest thing that you can find a job of because it's really take a lot of time it's really take uh, a lot of connections uh, a lot of communication that you need to build with the club a trust and, and too many things that you need to do in order that you can be in the sports agent but still if you have a passion for it then you can just go for it and ask for the connection with the people how can you find the, uh, a job in the career uh, management this is the most important question of the session today and this is the most important or the, the question that I have received every day through my social media and everyone asking for this. Uh, first thing I would recommend I, or I would say LinkedIn. L LinkedIn is the most powerful tool, especially in the sports management. Why especially in the sports management and not in any other uh, career or industry? Because for example, if there is an event of the, let's say, uh, the Euro 2020. If you just type Euro 2020 or World Cup Russia 2018 in LinkedIn, you will find all the people who is working in this event over there. You will find the marketing manager of the stadium, the facility manager, 
the doctors over there, the spectator service manager, the volunteers manager, many, many people you can find it through LinkedIn. So what I recommend, take these people, just write them a message, but avoid writing this, them a message asking for a vacancy. They might not reply or they might not like it. Don't write people on LinkedIn and say, hello, uh, Mr. Uh, Jose, I'm searching for a job like this, if you can help me. No, it's not going to work. Write them a message and tell them, I have been like what you are doing right now. And I really uh, have a passion of this sector, what you are doing. For example, he's doing uh, media operations. Like I, I have a passion for media operation and I have been studying this and this and this or working in this and this and this. And I would like to know what else I can do or what I can study. Always end the conversation with a question. Make them feel that they need to reply. So if you, for example, texted around 100 people in LinkedIn, if five or four of them only reply, then you have five connections. And where? Not only five connections, in, in somewhere like normal. It's five connections in the, the event that you have a passion for, like the World Cup or the Euro or whatever. Keep in touch with these connections. Always follow up with them, text them, ask them, uh, like every two months, just to drop a message and tell them, hi, I have been passing by my connection, want to say hi, and like this and this. Just follow up with them and make them feel that you really, you are passionate about what you are searching for. So again, LinkedIn is one of the most powerful. There is a, also one of the best things that you can do it in LinkedIn. It is the, the career advisor and the resume over there, like the review. You can uh, ask for LinkedIn that you need someone to review your resume and they can do it for free from LinkedIn. And they, you have to tell them, I have a passionate about this sector in the sports industry. So I want to adapt my resume or CV for this. So you can do this and it's really gonna help you for this. And also the, you can ask a career management advisor over there, they can advise you if you want to go to this or work with this, you have to do this and this and this. So it's really useful. Don't forget any, any time about LinkedIn. It is the magical tool of sports management. Um, the best thing again, uh, the connections and contacts that you have to do. Uh, in real life, not only in LinkedIn. As I said before, one of the best contacts that I have made, it was in the football game. It was a normal game. I was just going to watch it as a fan. And then I have been talking with one of the guys. We found out that we have the same passion of the same sector. And then we started to talk about this. And then we have a business later about this. So always be an active person looking forward for many, many connections, many contacts around you, whatever the place, whenever the time, just be active or, oh, okay, this guy might be useful, this and this, always tell the people what you love, what you're doing when you are in, just sitting with a friend, tell them guys, I have been doing this and this and this and this, you might find someone say, okay, hi, uh, how can I work in this and this and this. So always keep your connections and contacts up. Volunteering experience. Um, this is the magical tool also of finding a, a job in a sports career management. We have two people here from the volunteering experience, Nancy and Mohammed from Egypt. Um, uh, Nancy is from Belgium, by the way, and both of them, they were working with me as a volunteer in the FIFA World Cup 2018 in Russia. Volunteering experience is really um, a trustful tool for the people from UEFA and FIFA Federation, associations, clubs, everywhere. They are always need a volunteer. It's something that it's really booming right now. Like if we said like three or four years ago, there was nothing called volunteering in this kind of events because they were paying too many salaries for people who are working there and then people asking for promotion or high salaries and just to go for this event. So what they have been figured out, why not we can uh, hire these volunteers, pay them the accommodation, the food and everything, and they will do the job even better than the people who are working because they are searching for something. And they came here and they know that they are not taking any money, but because only they have a passion for this event or for this sport and they want to, they want to work on it. Really, the volunteers is a, a magical tool and they have been working even 12 hours in each event as I was doing with all the volunteers over there. So always search for the event that you work in any kind of sports. 
there is the World Cup of the ice hockey is going to be in Switzerland. It was supposed to be in May, but they postponed it. I think it's going to be in August or September. Uh, they need many, many volunteers. Um, football, like the Euro, the Europa, uh, Europa, UEFA Cup. There is many tournaments and events they need a volunteer. And just type in Google, for example, World Cup volunteers. You will find the link. Go apply. Go to LinkedIn. Ask the people I have been applied for this to be a volunteer, but no one responds. I would appreciate if you know someone there or if you can refer me to be a volunteer over there. Don't be shy to ask the people even for a volunteer uh, uh, position because it's really matter and it is the secret key to let you inside this organization. Uh, if we go to the top, the, the 10, high, 10 highest paid jobs uh, in the world right now, uh, let's just... Uh, take a glance about this uh, yes the, the Olympics game also it is a say the Olympics games uh, it's one of the most powerful right now and they need a lot of volunteers but as far as they know that they closed the application so that's why I did it mention but maybe the next one or no one knows after this situation many many volunteers may be dropped their position and they were looking for new people so just go there and ask that I want to uh, apply for the Olympic games and this stuff because I know many people who was applying and they told me that they closed the application already and they already written on the official website. But just go again and ask and ask people on LinkedIn. Let's go to the 10 highest paid job in sports industry. If we can start by the first one, for example, we will say professional athlete. Why they are? Because as you can see, the salaries for Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi, Tiger Wood and these kind of people they are taking a lot of money so they are the on the top of the list that they are taking the the highest salary uh, sports medicine doctor this is the second one uh, because imagine if you have someone like Messi in your um, team and he's injured and you, you don't have a good doctor <laughs> to to do some treatments for him or anything then you are going to lose Messi in the game so the second thing should be the doctor I'm saying this because there is many people also wants to work in the medicine department of the sports industry. Uh, sports management come in the third. Uh, sports agents, uh, sports communication manager, uh, physical therapist, the, the um, statisticians, coach, sports uh, psychologist, broadcaster. This is mainly the top 10 highest paid jobs in the world. So also try to define which job of these that you are interested in and you really you really wants to work with then just go ask the people uh, text people on LinkedIn and search how to work in this don't forget the advices that they said about the connections the contact volunteering experience studying sports management and everything uh, let's go to topic no number six which is uh, how the sports industry make money many people are saying why football have this amount of money but why is but actually football is not the highest amount of money in the world it is basketball if we take the average of the players that they are receiving money it's not football it's, fo it's basketball number one but let's talk about in general how is the sports making this kind of money basically the answer is the broadcasting broadcasting why broadcasting because you, you are not able to go by yourself to the game to watch it through the stadium so what can you do just open the TV see the game so then they have paying a lot for the broadcasters to broadcast these kind of games television rights commercial sponsorships the the sponsorship that you see on the on the shirt or the t-shirt of the players when they are playing these kind of guys they are playing uh, paying a lot a lot of money just in order you are sitting in your home and to see the logo of them on the t-shirt for example players from Barcelona, Real Madrid, they are the most seen guys in the world. If they paying for Rakitan or Audi just to be in the logo on the shirt. So now we understand why this kind of money coming from. Uh, spectator fees and the events and the ticketing. Many, many people are paying tickets just to go to the stadium. As you can see what's happening with Euro 2020, they were over like one, let's say 2.5 million tickets has been sold. This is a huge number. Uh, transfer fees of the professional players uh, as you can always hear like the transfer fees uh, for example in football from Neymar from Salah from this kind of people it's a huge amount of money and many people wants to understand 
why is this amount of money has been paying in football as i said from broadcasting is the most essential one because many many people are paying just to see the game they are not able to go to thrive let's move to the next topic which is the essential skills that you need to have in the sports management uh, the most essential skills that you need to have in the sports management as i said before and again and again networking is the secret key if you have a good networking you can work in any club organization in the world that you want in the sports industry and day by day your not your networking is going to be developed so don't lose the hope right now and say yeah, i just don't have any network what can i do again as i say go to the websites go to linkedin text the people drop them a message i inspired about what you are doing this and this and this how can i work with this um, flexibility you need to be too flexible in order that you flexible in travel flexible in communication with the people everything if you are a really flexible person you are 10 times faster to reach the job what you need more than the normal people time management is one of the perfect skills that you need to have it as you can see in the events uh, the time is really really matter because a match is going to start at this time there is no possibility that they going to postpone the match for one minute i mean not even the emergencies but in time you cannot be delayed so you need to show you you are you need to be sure that you are punctual you are um focus on the time of what you are doing exactly organizations communication skills you need to keep in mind that you really have these skills and if you don't have it you have to see how can you develop these skills by talking with excellent peers about communication skills ask them how can i be so communicative person and this mindset creativity and writing skills one of the secrets of the people who has reaching their goals and their dream job is writing blogs many people who write blogs in sports and they just sending the people who are working with uefa or fifa and say hello mr x um, look I, I have been writing a blogs about uh, boxing about snowboarding about any kind of sports and uh, this is my blogs can you read it please and tell me what they think about it what they need to, me to to enhance or improve this what they think about it i know one guy who who actually received a, a good job in weaver before because he was writing a, a good blogs and he just sent it to people over there and they really like his blogs and then they asked him to be a volunteer um, in an event first and then he got a job over there so it's one of the secret keys that you can do it because people love to read blogs about sports so if you have this talent improve it send it to many people working in sport industry mindset creativity uh, it's sports industry as i said is the only uh, industry is driven by passion so if you really like it you have to work there by your own mind so you have to be creative people in sports especially the top management they like to see people who are thinking about or people who are thinking out of box because the normal ideas they are already do it, did it in the last events or previous activities or anything so they don't want to repeat it as the fans are be in the stadium or in the TV they don't want to see the same exactly happening they want to see uh, new sp new pr uh, sponsorship happening they want to see a lot of stuff um, like going on so you really need to, to think how can you you do the I'm sorry the, the phone is cheap charging so I'm just trying to manage it okay so you need to really think how can you think out of my uh, out of box in order that you can uh, make an impressive job and make these people who are working in sports see that okay I like uh, the guy that he's working in this and the ideas that he said write an PDF on an article about an event or about an World, uh, World Cup it's something totally out of box and send it to the people who are responsible for this position and said look I have been writing this and this and this so what do you think about it uh let's move to the last two topics um, um which is why online format is easy why you need to if you join uh this program or the course in general about sports management uh, online why it's really useful online because online you have a lot of time first you don't waste time by going to university on the transportation this stuff so first you save this time you have a lot of time 
to search about people who are working in this organization in LinkedIn or in any other tool. Uh, you have time to talk with people around you and meet you. You can do it beside an internship or a, a job even. So if you say that at the end of the program, for example, you are studying now at the end of the two months, you said you are receiving a job or a training or internship, but you say to the club or to the organization, sorry, I still didn't finish, you might lose the opportunity. But if you are studying online, you can go forward to this opportunity beside your studying. So it's not going to be a conflict. So I would really recommend you to use the online program. Um, let's go to the end. Uh, I just want to say you, uh, I would really recommend you to join uh, this program of uh, GBSB Global Masters of Sports Management uh, on October in Tech. Uh, as it's going to be really added value in your life, especially if you want to continue in your career with the sports management. Uh, I'm always here. If you want to ask any question, you can text of the official account of the school or my social media. I'm going to write you my LinkedIn and everything. Uh, let's go to the questions. Um, let me know, please, if you have any question, just write it down. I'm going to answer it. I think so far we have two questions. I'm going to answer the first one which says, in your opinion, how do you evaluate the sports management here in Egypt and how can we improve it and how the program of study in GBSP can help? Uh, I would say the sports management in Egypt, uh, they have um, a lack of knowledge uh, according to the sports management in Spain or worldwide. And really, if you want to study something related to sports management, don't study it right now over there, unless if you're going to take something related to FIBA. But if you are going to study in normal school, I would recommend you to, to join this course or any other course that might be helpful for you. Don't forget the connections that I see through the professors. If you study something in Egypt, uh, which is probably going to be on campus, you're going to meet the people who are already just in the country over there. But if you study something online, that's make much better for the contacts and connections of the professors, that these professors are already teaching online uh, and they have been like working in many organizations many crafts and they have really a good connection and this is the secret key they are really going to help you after the graduate um, how can we improve the sports management career we really we really need to hire uh, people that they are more expert in the sports management career they have been um, working in many kind of events around the world not only in egypt and they have to be like more open about receiving new information and willing to help the people because one of the common thing in Egypt and people who are from Egypt watching they will know this like not all of them but people are not willing to help as a worldwide people so if they know some information they will say to you but they don't have the same passion to help the people in front of them so make sure that you are with the right people and they really 100% wants to help you uh, how is this the program of studying GBSB Global can help? As I can said, it can help by the connection of the professors uh, about the peers or consultations that they are consultants they are working over there. Uh, connection of the school that the GBSB Global they already have a, a good connections in sports industry, uh, which is uh, I think I remember last semester we have a, a private dinner with the former CEO of Spaniel Club, which is he is a huge contact. So if you manage to, for example, to study over there, you can have one of these contacts. He is the most important, uh, one of the most important contacts in the football industry. We have been to one of the medical um, uh, organization, I think. They are working with the Spanish team and they are working for Real Madrid and Valencia team. They also have a lot of connection. So there is a lot of uh, workshops that the school is doing in the sports management. It really helped the students to enhance their skills and connect, contact connections in the sports uh, field. Uh, let's go to the second question. Uh, GBSB wrote in the application MBA, it is specific in sports or in general? No, uh, the MBA is uh, specific in general, but there is a new program called Masters in Sports Management. So I would recommend you to join this program if you really want to continue in the sports industry. Um, Joris, can we also ask a personal questions? Yes, of course. Um, you talk about soccer. Would you even consider 
pursue a career in a different branch of sports? Definitely, yes. As I said, I mean, the passion of getting the job in the sports industry, it came at the beginning when I was at the World Cup. So, um, this is because also I was a football player before and I really have a huge passion for the football. But if I was not working in football, definitely I will work for tennis, for squash, for boxing. There, there is a lot of branches of sports I would love to work there. And also, I'm going to be a volunteer in the World Cup of the Ice Hockey in Switzerland. So, this is not football, but this is something I really love to do it. Let me know if you have more questions, Joris. Mohammed, if you do the program online, is there any events or trip where you meet in person? Definitely, yes, Mohammed. We will take in consideration that people who are doing the course online, they are not able to come to the event personally. So, uh, we will organize for them some workshops online in order that they can meet people from another countries online. And don't forget also one of the secret keys is your colleague who studying the course right with you online because these people everyone who is going to graduate will work in a specific organization or a club so make sure that you follow up with your colleagues and your professors again anyone around you could lead you to your dream job in a football club or in an organization yes Mohammed, the answer is that we are going to do this uh, hello this is the price of the sports management program i think someone have write the price it's 9,900 euros, it's for 9 months. And how long it is, it's 9 months as we see. Uh, okay, I think this is the end of the questions. Uh, guys, let me know if you have more questions. I'm here for like 3 more minutes. If you have any more questions. So I'm waiting. Joris, have I answered your question? Or do you have any other Elida, thank you so much. Um, I think no one have a question so far. Uh, guys, uh, don't hesitate to text me if you have any questions regarding the sports career uh, or just uh, ask on the official account of the school and they will forward all the questions to me. Uh, thank you so much, Elida. Thank you, Joris. Uh, Private uh, Mina, don't forget to share your LinkedIn name yes i'm going to do it right now um let me just uh, write it here um, okay guys so uh, this is my linkedin uh, name feel free to add me in linkedin and then ask me any questions that you have uh, muhammad thank you so much for watching today nancy thank you everyone looking forward to see you again Goodbye and have a nice evening.